I, I felt really sorry when I saw uh, how late you, you sent it. <coughs> so the idea was just to do a small round yes. table discussion today. Maybe we just... In my team, we study the biosynthesis of long sugar chains. So these long sugar molecules, they are not used to produce energy in the cell, but they are used to communicate between different cellular factors, between different proteins. So these are more signaling molecules rather than energy molecules. These long sugar chains, they are found at the cell surface and they have many different functions. So they can be involved in cell communication, in cell differentiation, in during development, in signaling, but then they can also be involved in pathological processes, for example, during bacterial or viral attachment to the cell, during cancer formation, or during Alzheimer's disease development. So these long sugar chains, most of them, they attach to a core protein and there is a very complex biosynthesis machinery of more than 30 different enzymes which specifically adds sugar molecule by sugar molecule onto the protein and then this leads to this formation of these long and complex sugar chains. Cryo-electron microscopy is a method which has been developed in the last century, but in the recent years it, there were some major advancements. There were new electron guns developed, new detectors, new software, and now this has become the new method of choice for protein structure determination. And we can really now determine structures of okay. proteins so at an atomic resolution. Check on the microcrafts is the particles. So we want to look, for example, here, here, here are plenty of nice particles. Mm -hmm. Yes, and there's a few ice contamination. I think I really like to look at protein sure. structures. Uh, proteins, they can really fold in a very elegant way and seeing of how a protein looks and how it functions, I think it's, it's very beautiful. Once we understand how these uh, long sugar chains are synthesized, we can develop small molecule inhibitors and they could, for example, be used to treat viral infections like SARS-CoV-2 because if the virus needs the sugar chains to attach to the cell and you can temporarily block the biosynthesis of these sugar chains, you could basically block viral entry. It has also been shown that specific sugar modifications can render cells more vulnerable for metastasis formation or tumor cell migration. So by modifying maybe the fine structure of these sugar chains, we could uh, treat cancer patients. So I was, uh, of course, very surprised, very excited, very happy. This is really a huge amount of money which can really change the way of how we are doing research. It will really push us to the next level when we do experiments. And on the other hand, I was also relieved because having now funding for five years means that I can actually do what I like doing, which is research, instead of trying to find money to do research. So this were really good news for me.